Jessica Carden with Nosy Neighbors and Murdoch Man Marine Company. Thanks for joining us today. We are um, highlighting a really cool store. If you don't haven't seen Bargain Hunters, this is your day. Really cool overstock store, a different idea. It is a bin store. And I didn't realize that that's kind of a buzzword. If you don't know what a bin store is, there are people that do know what bin stores are and you're about to find out today. So thanks for visiting with us and thanks for taking a look. By the way, if you love local businesses like this one, make sure to like and follow our page, subscribe to our channel, go back and take a look. Hey, we've organized a lot of the Nosy Neighbor stuff into playlists. So if you haven't taken a look at the playlist, then you're gonna find the Nosy Neighbors where it's all the local businesses. Check that out and make sure you're subscribing to keep up with all the cool stuff that's going on. And if you love real estate like I do, I'm a real estate agent, and we can help you buy or sell a home this year, we would love to chat with you. If you're worried about, is the market really good now? Is it not good? It actually really is a great time. It's really picked up. Our inventory is low. It's a great time to get a deal on a house, but it's also a great time to sell a house. And if you're like, that doesn't make sense, we should talk. It's never too early to make a plan. Okay, let's get in here and take a look. What you're gonna notice is we're right here at 1435 Northgate Highway. We're right next to the Auto Zone, right in the same parking lot as the Dollar Tree, Bullfrog Spas, and Fred Meyer. Super easy to find. It's got a huge parking lot. It's a great location. This used to be where Romaine's was and Catlow's. So it's a great location and this is a really fun store. So how it works, we're gonna go in and ask all the questions. All the items are new and used. This is overstock, which means they bought stuff from Amazon and this is stuff that didn't sell. And now you can come in and get a great deal on it. Let's get in here and talk to David Berry, the owner of Bargain Hunters. Let's find out more. Well, hey, Dave. Well, hey, welcome. So uh, we're wondering if we can ask some questions about Bargain Hunters. Sure, Bargain Hunters bin store, go ahead. So tell us, what is Bargain Hunters? What's a bin store? A bin store concept has been around for about five or six years. You price things on a certain day at $7 or $6, and then throughout the week, it goes down to a dollar. So it's like six, five, four, three, one, and then the last day is a dollar day to clear out all the inventory for the new inventory to come in. So when you're saying new inventory, tell me where is this inventory coming from? Where do the bins stuff come so from? So Amazon, some people have heard of Amazon. Yeah, and, it's uh, new, but it'll be catch fire soon. It'll catch fire soon. Yeah. Um, they liquidate billions of dollars every year. And so there's entities that contract with Amazon to move liquidation trucks. Ah. And so we get semi truck loads of these. These are called Gaylord boxes. And uh, that's how we fill up our bins. Okay, we so bins. we've highlighted ATX auctions here in Idle Falls before, uh -huh. and they're in overstock, but yours is a little different. So how are you different, or what is your stuff different than sure. ATX auctions? Our, our truck loads have 20 to 50,000 items in them, uh -huh. where ATX are bigger items. So you're not going to get the big, like a big couch or a box or a bike or something. You're going to get stuff smaller that fits items. in. Smaller items, yes. You're going to get smaller items uh -huh. that you can carry out yourself. Which makes sense with your days. So tell me one more time about the days. Wait, before we do that, you're going to want to watch because I've got all these questions. How do they find out more? So if they have questions or they want to, are you on social media? have a website. Where do they go to find we out are. more? We are. We're on social media. We're on Facebook. And I'm here every day. You can come into the store. What are our hours? Our hours are every day except Thursday and Sunday, 10 to six. We're closed Sunday and we're closed Thursday for restocking for uh, Friday and Saturday. Gotcha, okay, now I wanna ask my millions of questions. Tell us how the days work. So you say, okay, restock, oh, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. I like it. Oh, here we go, Yeah. okay. So this is technically then the first day. This is technically the first Friday day. Friday is when it all begins. That's when it all begins. That's when, when I show up at about 9.30, there's a line of a couple hundred people all the way down the street Holy here. Holy moly. Yeah. Because this is the day that the newest stuff is here. Yes, and we stock Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. So there's new stuff about every hour. My workers will bring out new stuff in a cart. So ah. people that come in at three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock in the afternoon, mm -hmm. they're still gonna get some new stuff. So on Friday and Saturday, you might wanna come in multiple times. Multiple times. Yeah. Uh-huh, and then what What happens? So then you close Sunday, then what happens on these days? On these days, we don't so restock. So we're here at Monday. We're here at Monday. Uh -huh. <clears throat> we won't do any re new restocking. What's left on Monday will be $5, and then tomorrow on Tuesday, it'll be $3, and then Wednesday's dollar day, which everybody comes in on dollar day because what's left is a buck. So, does everything get cleared out? Every, like, are these bins uh, empty after Wednesday? Wednesday at about three o'clock, there's 
eighty-five percent of the stuff is gone. Wow. Yep. Because it's all a dollar. Doesn't matter. It's all a dollar. So oh, on yeah. seven dollar day, well, will you, will you show us a little bit about what we're talking yes. about? Yes. Yeah. Sure. So on seven dollar day, <clears throat> they'll put out some items. You might see some Columbia shoes, some binoculars. Uh, of course, these are fifty or sixty dollars online. These are eighty dollar work shoes that have steel toes in them. Oh wow! Everybody likes Legos, boxes of Legos, mm -hmm. any size. <clears throat> these are on Amazon. These are eighty-five, or these are one hundred and eight dollar knives. Uh, a lot of people in the last couple of weeks, we got a shipment of these in. We had a couple hundred of these, so people have got a hundred eight dollar chef knife for seven bucks. Lululemon bags. All the ah. ladies come in and they're searching for Lululemon right, bags. Right, right. These are 25, 30 bucks. They get those for $7. Gerber's a very popular knife. Those mm -hmm. are $85 on Amazon. We get such a variety, right? Yeah. You got, <clears throat> uh, I forgot what these cards are called. <laughs> those look like uh, trading Pokemon, cards? Poke Pokemon, Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards. Uh -huh. People have found rolls and stamps huh. in here. Stanley cups, uh, another chef knife. You get Apple products, that's an Apple watch right there. Huh. And so, I mean, it just goes on and on and on, right? And people that like just little trinkets. Yeah. There, there's some bins that we just say, what is this? And we just put it in. Put and, it in. And you never know what stuff is out there, but being in this business and seeing hundreds of thousands of items, you go, like this is one. <clears throat> These are Belgium chips. This is not you, dog food? This is not dog food. <laughs> <laughs> we opened one up and That's started eating these and one of the workers took them home and made some uh, cookies out of them but they're belgium these are 65 bucks on uh, amazon wow so it's a lot so of variety it's a treasure hunt it is a treasure hunt bargain hunters you're hunting for a yes. treasure yeah so that makes me think it must feel a little bit like black friday Yes, every day is Black Friday around here. That's a very day, good point. Yes. Every day is Black Friday. And I love a good Black Friday. <laughs> there you go. So now I look around here. There's other stuff. What's for sale? How do you know? Like, are the that couches for sale? That is a great sale? question because we have people coming in here. They want to buy the stand for seven bucks. They want to buy our IKEA bags. Yes. They want to buy the couches. Um, what's in the bins? What's in All the right, bins? People, for, those are the rules. But, so you're not going to sell that picture I'm on the wall? I'm not going to sell that big old picture on gotcha. the wall right there. They need to know no, the rules. Don't come in right. and ask for the, 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 are you selling the cash register? Right. right. Or the vacuum cleaner. Or the va Yes, the vacuum cleaner. The, the trees. The trees. The trees, yeah. The decorative trees. So let's so. take a walk through this way. So when they come in, is it just random? Is there any order to any of this? Is we do. As you can see over here, you got like rugs and linens. You got kitchen items. This is for organization. We got ah. toys over here, skin products over here. Usually got back it. here in the right hand corner, you'll see 30 or 40 guys because there's automotive, there's tools, uh -huh. there's a little teeny chainsaw, stuff like that. Uh, so it is somewhat organized. Yeah. So, so if you get in here, you're going to want to become a little more familiar because if you're all about the electronics, that's probably where you're going to hit first. Yeah. And the electronics we put right up here. Oh, because um, that's what's going to walk out the door? Because a few days, people it, take stuff out of their car yes. and put it in there. But in there, you'll find everything, electronics and phone covers and stuff like that. So what if, so what if something is broken? What if you find something or it doesn't work? Is it returns or you get what you get, so don't throw a fit? Well, for the most part, it's get what you get, but don't throw a fit. Mm -hmm. But since I've been opened, people have brought stuff back and I give them, I'll, if it's I'll, I'll give them a return. I'll say, go grab three or four items out of the thing. Gotcha. So yeah, I've because sometimes something's missing in a box mm -hmm. and they'll bring it back and I'll let them get something Makes store sense. credit. Yeah. Yeah. But, sure. it, but don't expect that this is a, I didn't like it when I got home, bring it back to the yeah, store. Yeah. You can check it out here at the store. <laughs> <laughs> check it out. Okay. So tips and tricks. If someone's coming and this is their first time, what are the tips and tricks that they should know? The tips and tricks is come early. 930, nine o'clock. Yeah. Nine, nine. Is $7 day the best day? Seven dollar, seven dollar day and six dollar day is when you get your little goodies. Yeah. Yeah. You're not gonna find but the Apple Watch on. You're not gonna day. find that Apple Watch on dollar day. Yes. No, you're not. Uh -huh. But on dollar day. But on dollar day, a lot of the clothes go out. A lot mm. of the items that people come on dollar day because they're just really. Uh, you can find blankets, shoes. Some of the food items are still left on dollar mm -hmm. day. So. so I'm going to take a little of the walk. So you've got clothes back here. Yeah, with clothes are right along here. So you, is it the, is it just random? You've got to check the size because it's going to just yes. be in the bin? Yes, you do. You, you have to check the size of them. And um, 
We ask people to scan a lot of the items you can. Uh, oh, that makes sense. On Amazon. On Amazon, because this all came from right Amazon. You click right here, and at the bottom there's a barcode, and so you can scan. So you would take this yes. and scan mm -hmm. the barcode. No pressure on camera. Yeah, no kidding. And some things don't get scammed, scanned, and they don't show up there. Gotcha. So, but a lot fun. of items, like all those up there, you yeah. can scan those. Yeah. Yeah, so it is that. So if I look at this and I think, okay, so today is what day? So we're on Monday. We're on Monday. So it's four dollar day. Today is five dollar day. Five dollar day, and there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, over. I looked at this. <clears throat> Are these Sorel boots? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if they're Sorel. They might be knock fake off Sorels. Of Sorel. But I mean, yeah, that's pretty amazing. There's a lot of stuff in here. A lot of stuff in there. Well, that's pretty fantastic. You know, and these are. Oh yeah. Nice clothing for yeah, five bucks. You get Levi's. Amazing. You got books. Um, yeah, it just goes on and on. You on can see. and on and on. Yeah. Well, this is awesome. It's awesome. Okay, so one more time, as they look at this, where do they find out more? Is it should they follow you on social media? And yeah. what if they have questions? Facebook. Kay. Yeah, they can ask questions on Facebook. Have Send a guy message. that runs Facebook, he'll answer those questions. Gotcha. Yeah, or gotcha. they can call the store. Gotcha. So okay. all of that information is below. So you guys, if you want to check out all of the information below, and uh, this is really cool. Yeah. It's really cool. So uh, the next big round comes Friday. Next big round's Friday. That's yep. pretty amazing. All right, Dave, this is fantastic. Anything else we need to know that we didn't ask? No, you asked everything. I appreciate you coming in, and yeah. it's been fun. There's been thousands of customers that appreciate the good deals that we have here oh i i am owners. this would be i'm a, i'm feeling if i need a little adrenaline this might be my place yes i really like that i'm, I'm sure. might be an aggressive shopper all right yeah, get you in awesome thank you so much all right you guys this is bargain hunters bin store right here in idola falls it's right on the north gate mile in the same parking lot as fred meyer right next to AutoZone. come check it out and you might just find yourself a trevor because treasure because every day is black friday here at bargain hunters all right this has been jessica carden your nosy neighbor keeping you in the know. It's Jessica Carden, your nosy neighbor. If you'd like to know the value of your home, go to the site below or call me today. The nosy neighbors keeping you in the know. The nosy neighbors keeping you in the know. Nosy neighbors keeping you in the know. The nosy neighbors keeping you in the know.